Hi, I'm Ollie Clark, All Trace Ace from the Information Lab UK. Thanks for tuning into today's episode of Ace Tricks. Today's tip will be about field mapping when developing macros. When we're developing macros, we want to make them as flexible as possible. The show field map option and updating select tool with reverse field map lets us build our macros without having to worry about column names in future datasets. I've got a standard macro here, which calculates the current age based off of a template field called DOB. In my macro input, I've ticked the show field map option. This will give users the ability to select a field in their dataset to replace the DOB field in my macro. If you connect the macro input tool to a select tool at the end of the macro, an Alteryx will by default input an action tool updating the select tool with reverse field map. This will reverse that replacement so the user's field names won't change. When we look at this macro in a workflow, the field map gives us a dropdown to choose which field we want to assign as the template DOB. But due to the reverse field map, our output column is still called birthday. If in our dataset we've got multiple available fields, then the field map option also lets us choose which one we want to use in our macro too. Having discovered this, I added field mapping to every macro I created when I was working in the HR. Thanks for watching this episode of Ace Trips. I hope you put it to good use. Tune in next time.